of the grosbeak species. One that is the most well known is the rose-breasted grosbeak. The male rose-breasted grosbeak is stunning. With a black hood and back, white wing bars, and a cherry red breast, you're sure to recognize one of these birds if you see them in your yard or your local forest. Females and immature birds are beautiful in a more understated way, with a brown body, tan underside speckled with brown, and a thick white eyebrow line. The vocalizations of rose-breasted grosbeaks are also very pleasant. Listen for their sweet melodic song that's reminiscent of the American Robin. According to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, early 20th century naturalists described the song as so entrancingly beautiful that words cannot describe it, as well as stating that it has been compared with the finest efforts of the robin and the scarlet tanager, but it is far superior to either. Also, listen for a short chink note that can often give away the location of a grosbeak hidden in the leaves. Nesting occurs in the spring, and males may assist females with choosing a location, which is typically in a tree fork near edge habitat, or in more open areas with sparse trees. Nests are often fairly flimsy, and adults will also sometimes sing from on their nest, which is a relatively odd behavior in birds. They normally have between 1 to 5 eggs per clutch and 1 to 2 broods per year, and adults have been known to live for a maximum of around 13 years. The diet of the rose-breasted grosbeak consists mostly of insects, fruits, and seeds, especially during the spring and summer, and transitions to berries in the fall, followed by invertebrates and plant material in the winter. At bird feeders, rose-breasted grosbeaks will eat safflower seeds, sunflower seeds, peanuts, and more. Their range extends from northern South America in the winter to Canada and much of the central and eastern United States during the migratory and breeding seasons. In Wisconsin, I always look forward to when these birds return, which is normally around the same time as the Baltimore Orioles. Since they nest in the area, they can normally be seen from local bike trails. Although they are fairly widespread, rose-breasted grosbeak populations have declined from 1966 to 2019, according to the North American Breeding Bird Survey. Possible reasons for decline may be birds being captured for the pet trade in their wintering grounds, or changes in forest composition over time. Thankfully, rose-breasted grosbeaks are still currently considered a species of low conservation concern. Have you seen these beautiful birds before? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.